Ezekiel. Alan. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> For the very first time. <laughs> yes. We're here to talk about scale. 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 Well, one of the challenges with talking about scale is that scale isn't one thing. No. <laughs> scale breaks down into a lot of different aspects, right? Mm -hmm. And we want to try and break down as to what that means. So we've got a bunch of things here that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So let's dive into the first one, right? When somebody comes up and says, can you scale to meet my demand? Mm -hmm. The first question is, how many users can you support? Right? Number of users. Right. Right. Now, just a little bit of technical stuff about number of users. Really, it's how many things can you put into a database? Yeah. It's not only users. Could it be may device. be devices, things, anything that we need to identify stuff. that gets stored in the database. Yes. Identity stuff. Right. So the key point here is it's a database thing. So this is about storage. Mm -hmm. The next thing that comes up is concurrent. Mm -hmm. Concurrent means how many of these users are going to be on the system at the same time, right? Generally, it's a big subset of those users. Often, it's down in the 10% or less, right? right? The number of people who are currently logged on. Mm -hmm. Now, this doesn't have an impact on the disk space. Or things. Or things, or end devices. Yes, or stuff. Or stuff. Doesn't have a big impact on disk space, but what it does do is it has an impact on the size of the server we're running on. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is that for everything device, stuff, or user or that's things. logged in, mm -hmm. we have to keep just a little bit of information on the server, right? And those little bits of information add up to lots of information that we have to store. So this is going to be memory on the server. Concurrently. Same time. Then we've got simultaneous. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a really interesting problem when it comes to scale because we might be able to support lots and lots of users logged into the system. However, the act of actually authenticating takes processing time, it takes bandwidth. Mm -hmm. And if everybody tries to do it at the same time, yes. think the IRS, mm -hmm. nobody goes to the IRS's website. If you go and try and log into their website in the end of November, mm -hmm. no problem. Right. You try and log in on the morning of April 15th, when everybody else in the country is trying to log in, you've got a really high peak load, yep. right? Well, and so that's, users. like, this is going to impact bandwidth. It's going to impact processing power, yep. right? We've got to process each of those and so there's, there's lots of scenarios where you can map this to fluctuating pretty significantly. Sure. It could be holidays like Hanukkah or Christmas. Holidays. Um, it could be in the case of, of uh, sports events where you've got pay-per-view events, right? Right. Everybody logs in five minutes before the game, yeah. Right, and so there's a big demand on that. Right. See the Yankees or the Warriors? Could be. Yes. I, they play sport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is session length. Right. How long your session remains valid on the system? Yep. As employees, we generally want to stay. I don't want to log on every few minutes. Right. So the amount of time that the session stays active actually couples back to what we were talking about with concurrent sessions. Mm -hmm. We've got to keep the information about that session for that amount of time, mm -hmm. and they add up. So it adds back in the amount of memory, the amount of resources we're going to use. This can differ pretty significantly by the use case. Like if we go with the sports scenario where you're watching a game on your laptop, when you authenticate to that game and you stay on to watch that game, your session persists. And, and the interesting piece about that is that if it's a football game, mm -hmm. maybe it's only four hours. Mm -hmm. right? If it's a cricket game, it may be seven days. Right, right, right. <laughs> right? So you've got different sports and different lengths of time. Yes. Right. Well, before we get to cost, okay. let's have a look at sort of what are reasonable numbers for these? What, yes. what we sort of think of in the real world? The days of yore, as I think you have That's called it. Yes, right? the employee. So when we look at the employee case. Old world identity. You can give us some numbers here, Daniel. Typically, how many users are we talking about? I mean, if you think about the size of a company, it can range from hundreds to thousands of people. Um, so large companies, maybe, you know, 25, 30,000. Tens of thousands. Yeah, for a large enterprise. Okay. Yes. Now, tens of thousands is probably too much to keep on a spreadsheet, mm -hmm. but not by that much. That's right. Right? Concurrent users, how many of those people are logged in during the day? It could be hundreds or thousands. Probably thousands, right? Because when you're at work, 
you're probably going to be logged in. A fairly high percentage of the people at work are going to be logged in. Yep. How many of them log in at exactly the it's same time? It's going to be a little smaller. It might be hundreds. Probably hundreds. Maybe even ten. It all depends on whether your company has flex time or not, right? If everybody comes to work at 8 o'clock in the morning, let's go back to the IRS. Everybody comes to work at 8 in the morning, there's going to be a peak. Yep. If people drift in from anywhere between 6 to 10, it's going to be a much lower peak. That's right. And session length? Could be hours. 8 to 12 hours, right? You want people to log in and spend the day on that. Yeah. Right. So those are the kinds of numbers we I would see. say engineers more like 12 hours, marketing maybe two or three. You know, your job <laughs> may have different requirements. <laughs> Just saying. So let's look at the same kind of numbers, what we're looking at when we look at customer identity. Or and before you jump to that, I do want to say I'm a little offended that I get employees, you get customers. <laughs> no, no, I'm asking you for the numbers here okay. too. Okay, okay. It's so, both. Yeah. Do you want the pen? <laughs> no, you have, you have lovely, lovely handwriting. So when we talk customers, how many users do we have? It could be tens of millions to hundreds of millions. Millions, millions right? Mm -hmm. Maybe even, I don't know, more than that. Yes. Greater than millions, right? That's a really big jump. Yes. Right? We're going here from several thousand to several million yes, or more. Yes, that's a big jump. What about logged in at the same time? I'd say hundreds of thousands. Uh, I'm going to write that out. Hundreds. I said it the long way just to make him write that full thing out. Well, thousand Yes. There we go. That's about right. That's a D. Thousand. The reason I wrote it out was that otherwise there'd be too many zeros. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, concurrent, we've got users from all over the world. Yep. Right? They're all going to be logged in at the same time, want to be shopping. It wouldn't be profitable for Nordstrom's to have people come through the front door one person at a time. Yeah, that would be bad. Simultaneous. I'd say thousands. Maybe thousands. It may actually even be hundreds. Yeah. Right? Because remember, websites are open 24 hours a day. You might shop at midnight after you know a little bit of the old <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the so juice. let's say thousands. Yeah. Right. Now an interesting one. What about session length? So I would say this one's more like minutes. Minutes or tens of minutes, right? Yeah. You log on, you buy something. How long do you typically stay on Amazon? Yeah. You know, you log, you find what you're looking for, you go pay out. So this is going to be minutes. Did I spell it right? Am I, did. Yeah, I did. Minutes. Minutes. So now let's go back down to the cost. Right? And this becomes really interesting when you start looking at how these have scaled. That's right. Right? Because, okay, you've got to pay. There's, there's a certain amount of hardware and resources and things that you have mm -hmm. to have to develop into that. Yeah. But we do not want the cost of a solution to scale the way that these numbers have scaled. That's right. right. If possible, we want this number to be flat. <laughs> well, this, this is an important question when you're talking to people interested in large-scale identity, which is they want to know that you can scale, but more importantly, they want to know that you can scale efficiently. They don't want to have to buy the big, expensive hardware boxes to, to scale to the, the hundreds of millions. They want the cheap x86 boxes. And they don't necessarily want lots and lots of uh, um, instances of product deployed. They, they want a handful of things to support that scale. So one of the things that we're going to be talking about later mm -hmm. is cloud. Does cloud come into that picture? It does. Looking cloudy with a chance of uh, cloudy identity. <laughs> <laughs> cloud, we'll, we'll talk about cloud later on and how those costs sort of map out when we start getting in the cloud as well. Yeah. But this is, I think this is good. It gives some really nice context. And so many of the issues that people have to think about with scale, I think the takeaway is customer use cases, very different from employee use cases. And it's very important that when you talk about hundreds of millions of identities, that you can scale efficiently, that it's not going to be outrageous and ruin your ability to offer these types of services to large populations. And the one other point I want to add to that. Yes, sir. These separate pillars mm -hmm. are separate lines or separate axes in the graph. Just because you scale concurrent doesn't necessarily mean that you have to scale simultaneous. Right. So you have to be very aware of what the use case is going to be to see which one of these or which set of these are going to be really taxed. Yes. Right? And, and with, with that, that scale. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> <And with> that. <laughs> but I think we got that.